What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. The most repetitive question that I get like all the time in my DMs. What's some tips on how to be a successful influencer? What should I do? How should I start? All right, so first to be a successful influencer, you need to have the right equipment. You need to have either a camera or a phone with a very good camera. You cannot have blurry pictures. You cannot have content that's like not good lighting like a lot of people be calling yourself an influencer and you cannot just call yourself an influencer like it doesn't work like that okay you have to start off with just being a regular person that a person can relate to and then the more and more people can relate to you you build a bigger and bigger audience and then once you build that bigger audience and you have people that actually feel like you impact their life that's when you are an official influencer that's when you can say, okay, I actually influence a large group of people. Like, a lot of people just be putting influencer in their bio and they're like, what do you, excuse, excuse me? What do you influence? Like, please. Because I'm trying to understand. You have to have your lighting. If you film on a camera, you will have your ring light or your soft boxes. You need to post consistently. Like, seriously, posting is very important. If you're not into social media, if you're not into posting, then influencing is not for you. Because if you skip a certain amount of days, you really lose followers. Like, if I told you guys, like, how much followers I lose in a week if I don't post. If I don't post for, like, three days, I already lost, like, over 100 followers. To keep your content fresh, especially if you're an influencer that works with a lot of companies, you want to have products to show off. Whether you're doing a campaign for that company or not, you still want to have something to show to your followers just to keep your content fresh. So to do that, I recommend joining a lot of PR lists. PR lists are essential, okay? If you are a fitness influencer, beauty influencer, fashion influencer, it doesn't matter. There's different types of brands and companies for different PR lists. If you're a beauty influencer, of course you want to be on PR lists for a lot of different makeup companies. If you are a fashion influencer, you will be on a PR list for clothing company brands, like Fabric 21, Fashion Nova, things like that. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I get on PR lists? Like, okay, sometimes when you're already an established influencer, they just contact you through email. Now, if you're not that big, but you feel like you still have potential, it's okay. You can still, like, get the possibility of joining. All you have to do is Go to the website, like whatever company it is that you want to be in their PR list. You go to their website, you go all the way to the bottom, you're going to see like a contact us button and you're going to email either the general support email that they have there and you're going to tell them that you would like to be part of their PR list, tell them what you do, tell them what you're about and if they like you and they like your content, they'll direct you to the right person for PR. Or sometimes they already have like the PR email in the contact us section and you could just DM that person straight right away. When you go to networking events, you have to, have to, have to talk to the people that's in charge. You have to talk to the founders, you have to talk to the PR specialists, you have to talk to the marketing directors, you have to talk to the bosses. Like I remember when I first started this, like I was going to these networking events and I was just chilling, like I was just talking to my friends or like other influencers that I thought was like cool but really to be a successful influencer if you were a smart influencer you would talk to the bosses like you would talk to the people that's in charge you would talk to the people that's behind those emails you can't expect people to show you love on your content if you're not showing love on their content a tip that I would say to get reposts whatever your work is if you want to get like reposts on pages that reposts work similar to yours Spam those pages like Fashion Bomb Daily, makeup repost pages. Spam those pages, like, comment, like 10 of the pictures in a row. So that way you can get their attention so that they can take your video and repost it on their page. Next thing you know, you got 40k views on your video just from them reposting your work. When you just upload a video to Instagram, try to find like a hashtag that's relatable to your video. Search up that hashtag and just like and comment on people's posts that just uploaded with that hashtag. Those people are currently active. So more than likely, they're gonna be like, oh, who's this person that commented my stuff? They're going to go to your video, watch your video, and that video 
it's gonna get more and more views because like random people that don't didn't even follow you are just curious to see oh who's this person that just commented on my video you know what i'm saying all money ain't good money and you might feel like well this company wants to offer me this but you gotta really pick and choose what's worth your time some stuff might hurt your page because if it doesn't relate to your followers they might think like oh well this is like a walking advertisement like they're not a human being. I can't relate to them. Collabs. Collabs, collab, collabs. Whether it's a YouTube collab, an Instagram tutorial collab, even like a live. Like you could do a live with another influencer that has similar content to yours. And you guys could just talk. And then you guys, the followers could just be exchanged and they just like get intrigued with you. And now you just gain new followers because this person introduced their followers to you. Talking to your followers is so important. The more you talk to them, the more they feel like they can relate to you. Like when I first started doing Instagram and YouTube and doing tutorials and being a beauty influencer, I did a lot of beauty. And I didn't really talk much to my followers. And I noticed that whenever I did videos where I was talking to them, they would DM me more, they would comment more, I would get more engagement. So, if you are that person that don't like talking, start doing it because that's going to make you more successful. It's going to make people trust you more, feel connected to you, want to watch your stuff, want to hear from you, do lives, post on your Insta story every day, get on Twitter. Like, even, my, even me, like, I'm doing bad with Twitter. Like, I haven't posted on Twitter in so long. And my other influencer friends are like, you need to get on it. And I really do because... That's another way for people to relate to you because Twitter is technically like a diary, a public diary. Have business cards, especially the more like established you get in it. You're going to get invited to a lot of events, okay? You're going to be in rooms with people that you would never think to be in the room with. You're going to see celebrities that you see on TV. Get a PR. You need somebody that's going to get you in magazines, newspaper articles, somebody that's going to get you on panels so you can be talking as a panelist. Somebody that's just going to really get you out there, okay? And make you look like my client is somebody to talk about. Alright guys, well I hope you guys enjoyed my video. This is like a highly requested video. You guys are always asking me this. So I hope I answered all of you guys' questions. If I missed anything, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Thumbs this up if you liked it. Catch you guys later.